What's going on everybody? Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Justin Skaggs from Webs Online. This is part of a two-part series on trees and how they can uh, influence the temperature and shading of your pond. Trees can provide much needed shade for your koi. It's a place for them to hide in the hottest part of the day. It also regulates the actual temperature of your pond. Something I want you guys to take away is you can accomplish the same thing with actual aquatic plants, but then you also need to consider the aesthetic of your backyard and your pond in general. Not everything's science, sometimes you actually need to enjoy it. So if you want a tree, let's talk about it. Aquatic plants are mobile. You can put them where they need to be as long as they're not rooted. So there's a definite benefit there. A tree is obviously stationary. It's pretty much where it is. You're not gonna move that thing around. Additionally, another negative, there is going to be a lot of spring cleanup after the foliage falls down. You can combat this with a net like this one. You can find all that stuff on webs online. Here's another point that you really can't control. It takes a lot of time to make a tree. I know, tell me about it. Big, big brain buster there on Tech Tip this week. But what I mean by that is this. You're gonna have to speak to your arborist and make sure that this tree can actually survive in the ecosystem you're introducing it into. And then also, if you're trying to put in a tree that's gonna immediately give your pond all this shade, it's not likely you're gonna be able to find one that's old enough. A 40 foot tall tree is not going to come on a truck bed and get installed. That's something you may have wanted to consider, you know, putting a pond near a tree of that kind when you moved in, but if your property doesn't have it to begin with, you're not gonna magically get it. So again, that is another issue. This is much more of a forward thinking, long-term thing. In 10, 15 years, is this going to provide shade for this pond? Do you even want this pond to look the way it does in 10, 15 years? Consider all this moving forward before you call your arborist and actually, you know, introduce a new life into the ecosystem that you've built. Make sure you guys come back next week for part two. There's obvious things when you're positioning a pond with a tree, um, but for some people it would not be so obvious, so we're going to talk about that. I should pretty much wrap this up. Nine times out of ten, just go get some aquatic plants, man. It's way, way easier on you, but do what you want. Until next time, guys, I want to hear your tech tip questions, concerns, and you can always email those things to Joe at Webs Online. Dave knows everything. You can find any product that you need for your pond on websonline.com. Until next time, take care. Enjoy your pond.